So guys, to fix this problem, you want to restart your computer and then hold shift. So you want to click on the power button, hold shift on your keyboard, and then click on restart. Make sure that you're holding on shift, which will then take you into here. Now once you're on here, you want to click on troubleshoot, and then you want to click on advanced options. And now you want to click on startup settings. Now you want to click on restart. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on F4 on our keyboard, which will then take us into safe mode. So click on F4. And then it's going to restart again and then take us into safe mode. And now we're going to type in our password. Now we're going to be into safe mode. And now we're going to head over to search and type in run. Click on it. Now once this box opens up, we're going to type in reg edit and click on enter. Now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first, you want to expand HK local machine. And now you want to expand software. And now you want to scroll down again and expand Microsoft. And now we're going to scroll down again and expand Windows NT. You have to scroll down a bit for it. Here it is, Windows NT. You want to expand Windows NT, and then you want to expand current version. And now you want to click on profile list. We're going to scroll down again until we find profile list. You want to click on profile list. And now you want to expand profile list. And now you want to click on the last one here, S1521 with a bunch of numbers at the end, which will then open up this. You want to find state. You want to double click on it. And then you want to change your value data to zero and then click on OK. And now we can close this out. Now, once you do that, we're going to restart our computer again. So click on the Windows Start icon, click on the power button, and then click on Restart. Now, once you're back in Windows, you want to go back in safe mode again. So you want to click and then click on the power button, hold Shift, and then click on Restart again. Make sure that you're holding on Shift. And now we're back in here. Now, once you're back on here, we're going to click on Troubleshoot. Then we're going to click on advanced options and then we're going to click on startup settings and now we're going to click on restart now once you're on this we're going to click on f5 this time on our keyboard so click on f5 and now we're going to log into windows again so now once you're on this we're going to head over to search and type in cmd and then you want to run it as administrator now once you're on this we're just going to add in a new random user account so now you just want to type in net space user space forward slash add and now you just want to put any name that you want. So for me, I'm just going to put Daniel. And now you want to put in the password. So put a space and then just put in any password you want. Just make it easy to remember. So I'm just going to put the password as password. So now I've created a new user account that we're going to use. You want to create a new user account. So just put the username as anything you want and then put the password as whatever you want and then click on enter. And now you have a new user account. In my case, it's called Daniel and the password for that account is called password. Now, once you've done that, now we're going to type in net space local group space administrators space and then the username that you put earlier so in my case it's going to be daniel space forward slash add and click on enter so now once you've done this we're just going to close out of cmd and now we're going to click on the windows start icon then we're going to click on our user then we're going to click on sign out and now we're going to stick to our new user account and then we're going to type in the password that we set earlier so for me it's just password just make it Nice and simple. And now I'm just going to wait for this to load up. Now once you're on this, we're going to go to File Explorer. And then we're going to click on this PC. Click on our C drive. And then click on Users. And now you want to copy everything from your main account into your new one. So this is my old account, which has been damaged. It's my damaged profile. We're going to double click on this. Then we're just going to copy all of this. So just copy all this. Right click. Click on Copy. Now you want to go back and then paste all this into our new user account. Right click, paste. If you get this, click on skip this file. Now once you've done that, we're going to head back into File Explorer again. And now we're going to click on this PC. We're going to click on our C drive, Windows. We're going to scroll down and then click on System32. And now once we're on this, we're just going to search right here for cmd.exe. Click on Enter until we find this. And now you want to double click on CMD. And in this box right here, we're going to type in shutdown space full slash r space full slash t space zero and then click on enter. Now it's going to restart our computer. And now once we're on this, we can just sign into our new account. You can go through all of this and you're going to have all your old files on your new account now. So you could just start using that from now on instead of using your old damaged account.